Let's get out to Fox 35's Lara Greenberg. She joins us live tonight. So, Lara, can you feel the excitement in the air out there? Oh, you sure can, Luann. Yeah, the night before a launch is always exciting around here. We're in Jetty Park or just outside of it right now. This is one of the hot spots to come and see that launch tomorrow. The people we spoke to today are excited. They're hoping for a successful launch so that they can witness history up close. Jetty Park was quiet today, but it's campground busy as folks drove in and secured a spot to catch tomorrow night's historic launch. I'm a friend here. I think have been to the launches. Says, hey, come on. We'll have fun. We'll see the launch out there. So I'm giddy as a schoolboy. This will be my first time seeing it at night. They said that it's completely different than seeing a launch in the morning during the daytime. The inspiration for launch is serving up a particular type of awe as it's sending four regular people, not astronauts, into space. Wow, All right. amazing. Yeah. Wow. I would, we didn't know that. I, didn't know I that would part. do that. I would, I would love to go to the moon before I. Now that we have commercial enterprises doing it, um, I just think it's great. Let everybody get in the game. The crew will spend three days orbiting space before splashing down off the coast. Seeing regular people do it is a reminder for many that anything is possible. The view, uh, you get out of the end of that pier, you can see anything, especially at night when there's nobody around, it's nice. It's the last frontier for us, mm -hmm. is outer space. I just think the whole space exploration, it just blows me away. I think it's wonderful. 